Hello everyone, welcome back again to our channel Kodasaki. In today's tutorial, we will be learning about three very important methods in Python, which are the filter function, the map function, and the reduce function. Before starting with today's tutorial, I would like to request all of you to please like and share our videos with your friends and family again. And also, at the same time, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding our latest subjects. And at the same time, thank you for all your support and I hope you will be supporting us in future as well. Okay, thank you. Let's get started. As I said, today's topics will be map, filter and reduce functions in Python. And I will show you programs where you can see the use of these three functions or methods. Okay. So, I am inside my PyCharm ID as you can see here. Let me open a folder that I created for you guys. Here you can see this is the folder map filter and reduce methods. Okay, so inside that in the task file, these are the three questions that we will be covering today. Okay, so using the filter method to get all even numbers from a list, this is the first one. So where you will be seeing the utilization of the filter function. Okay, and using the map method to square all numbers inside a list. Okay. And the third one will be to use the reduce function to calculate the product of all elements of a list. Okay. And guys, these three functions will be utilizing the lambda expressions in Python. Okay. So let's get started with the first one using the filter method to get all even numbers from a list. Okay. So let me create the file P1 or filter method. Okay. So our task is to get all even numbers from the list. Okay. So let me take a numbers list is equal to, I will take 1 to 10. Okay. We need to find all the even numbers from this list using the filter function or the filter method. Okay. So let me take another list called even numbers. equal to here we will use the filter method as you can see this is a built-in method okay uh, in the bracket we will be using the lambda expression okay and then you have to give the parameter okay the parameter for me is x and then you have to give the expression okay so let me give the expression something like this we all know that whenever a number is divided by 2 and the remainder is 0 it is an even number right so i will say x modulus of 2 equal equal 0 Come on. And where are we going to search? We are going to search inside the numbers list. That's it. Okay. And let me just sort out the code a little bit so that it looks good. Okay. Yeah, we are done. That's it. So let me repeat the task that I've done. Filter function first. After using the filter function, we are using the lambda keyword and then x argument, then expression. So x mode of 2 equal equal 0 and we are searching in the numbers list. Okay, that's it. Now, after this, let us try to print the even numbers and let's see what we get. Let me run this. Okay, guys, you can see when I am only printing the even numbers list, I see that it is actually an object of a class. Okay, so what we need to do is we have to convert this thing into a list. Let us do it. Okay. Now let's see what we get. Okay. Let me run this now. Yeah, that's great. You can see that we are having all the even numbers from this particular numbers list. Okay. Simple. If you want to get the odd numbers, the condition will be not equal to zero. Let me do it. And now let us run this and see what we are getting. See guys, we are getting all the odd numbers. So this is how you can use the filter function in Python. Okay, using the lambda function along with the filter function, we can calculate the even numbers from this. Okay, so this is our first task done. Let's go back to the text file and see what we have in the second question. The second question is use the map method to square all numbers in the list. Okay, now let's see how to do this. It's pretty easy. We'll be using the map method along with the lambda functions. Okay. So let's go back to our 
folder and let's create a new Python file called map method. Okay. So here our task is to square all numbers in list. Okay. By using the map function or the map method. Okay. So let me simply take numbers list is equal to. I'm simply taking some five numbers. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, let me make the format correct. Okay. So these are five numbers. One to five. Now let us take another variable called squared numbers is equal to we will be using the map function you can see it also belongs to the built-ins and here we will take all the parameters so first of all let me take the lambda keyword then we have to take the argument which is our x and simple the condition will be x double star that means x to the power 2 that is square of a number okay and this where are we searching we are searching in the numbers list right that's all now same as we did earlier let us print the list of square numbers and let's run this yeah you can see guys one square 2 square 4, 3 square 9, 4 square 16 and 5 square 25. Okay, this is how you can use the map function and find the square of all the numbers inside the list. Okay, suppose if you want to calculate the cube, you can say 3 to the power 3 and if you run this now, you will get cube of the numbers. 1, 2 cube is 8, 3 cube is 27, 4 cube is 64, 5 cube is 125. Okay, so it's easy, right? not that difficult. But you should know the syntax, that's it. Okay, so with this, we have done the second one also. How to use the map function to find all the squares of all the elements in the list. Okay, now let's go to the file and see what we have in the third one. Okay, now let's see the third one. Use the reduce function to calculate the product of all elements in the list. So the third one is a little bit different, we have to calculate the product of all the elements in the list. Okay, let's see how to do it. Okay, let's go to the folder and create the file. Say reduce method. Okay, yes, I am talking about them as methods because Python is an object oriented programming language. Okay, we don't call functions and functions, we call them as methods because they depict the behavior of each object or instance. Okay, that's why I'm terming functions as methods. Okay. If you are into procedure oriented programming, then we call methods as functions. It is the same thing, just the way of naming them is a little bit different, that's all. Don't have to worry about that, okay? You can call them functions also, no problem at all. Okay, let's see how to do it. So our task is to find the product of all the elements of a list using the reduce function, okay? So before that, you should know where we get the reduce function, okay? So it is there in the library called functools. So from functools, okay, import reduce. You can see here, right? It is a built-in function in the functools library. Fine. Now let us take our numbers list is equal to. Let me take say one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and let me correct the format. After that. Let me take a variable called product is equal to I will simply say reduce okay and here I will take the lambda expression or the lambda keyword and then I will take the arguments okay so x comma y colon I will say x into y because I want to multiply them okay then where do I want to do this I want to do this in the numbers list okay now after that let's try to print product and see what we get okay let me run this and see what we get here yeah we are getting 120 so let's verify something like this 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 okay so it's 20 60 120 okay 4 5 is 20 3 is a 60 
so it's correct got it so this is how you use the reduce function and calculate the product of all the elements inside the list okay but remember it is available in the func tools library and so we have to import that okay then only you will be able to use this fine so guys i hope you have understood this these are the three methods which i was talking about the filter method the map method and the reduce method okay or function you can see here i written function let me change this to method okay so absolutely same you can call the methods or functions no matter what okay so the most important thing is to understand the implementation of the methods that's it i hope you have understood if you have any doubts regarding this you can ping us in the comment section and really 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 if you like the video please don't forget to like and share it to your friends and family and also subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding all latest updates so this is all of signing off thank you and happy learning